Happy New Year, guys. I'm so excited because Lamborghini has now announced the rear wheel drive Evo. And today, I'm going to spec one with you. I'm Heather Ballantyne, sales specialist and entrepreneur. Follow me and enjoy the ride. Okay guys, so this is my first time playing with the configurator since they have announced the Evo rear wheel drive and this is a really attractive option. I'm not sure what country you're in or where you're watching from, but in our country you can actually buy this car for the low 200s, depending on how you, you know, spec it, how crazy you go with options and whatnot. So today I'm going to play with it. Um, I was looking through all of the samples here in our Ad Personum showroom, and um, this is actually an interior chrome, but I liked, you know, this is a design inspiration against this leather interior Verde Scandal, which is almost kind of like a highlighter yellow green. So obviously I'm not gonna be doing this exact color palette because uh, that would be an Ad Personum car. Um, but I'm going to see what they offer and use these two as sort of an inspiration for what I want to design today. The cool thing is about ordering is you can design whatever you like. You just have to make sure you're ahead of the game. Uh, right now we've already filled our June allocation and we are ordering for July. So as you can see, we're in January ordering for July. So if you want to actually order a car for the season, you have to order five or six months ahead of time. I'm gonna hit start here on the configurator and it's gonna take us to the exterior. We've all seen this beautiful yellow. Uh, that was the launch color that you saw in all the photos, but I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna go up here to the paint. And like I said, I was inspired by this sort of matte silver. So I think that would be like a Grigio Adamas or something similar to that. Grigio Titans is a really cool matte gray. Just gonna see what we have here. Um, for options and take a look. So this is obviously something new, it's ad personam. Um, things look very different, by the way, on the configurator than they do in person. So if you're actually ordering a car, I suggest that you make an appointment with your local dealer so you can actually go in and view samples of the paints and see them in person, that always helps. But this is a great way to start and get an idea. Uh, we have Grigio Nimbus here, which is a nice metallic silver. Uh, that's a beautiful color. It's been around a while. Um, here are some metallics underneath. I'm going to keep looking for something special. So I'm going to click Grigio Telesto just to see it. This is one of my all-time favorite Lambo colors. I love it. It's very unusual. Uh, it looks so beautiful in person. It's like this gloss gray. Um, I remember it kind of like the battleship gray from Murcielago days. So that's an interesting choice. Let's keep looking. Um, matte. So mats are always fun. Grigio Titans, I've done a lot um, and done very well with it with, with orange accents. And um, Grigio Damas is also very cool. It's like almost like a matte silver. It's very cool. I think I want to do that. I think that's also very close to this inspirational chrome piece that I chose. So I'm going to stick with that. Um, hopefully you guys like it. Let's go to the rims. So they're back to offering the 19 inch uh, Kari, which um, it was never my favorite rim, but it's a good standard option. Um, they offered in silver. A lot of times we would paint them black for clients that wanted a black rim. Um, I'm gonna obviously go with a bigger choice. We have another option now, veneer. Um, so they offer in shiny black or also silver. So since this is an exclusive option for the Evo rear wheel drive, I'm gonna go ahead and choose that um, in shiny black. And um, it's pretty cool. It gives you a lot of window for caliper color which um, can be great, but obviously you could choose whatever rim you would like. Let's go to calipers. 
So I don't really know what I'm doing with interior yet, but I'm thinking Verde Scandal will not be an option as it's ad persona. Hmm. We have a yellow option or we have this really light green caliper option, which is ad personam, but that could be cool. Uh, it really depends on what they offer for interiors that match. I'm gonna choose that for now, but we may have to go back and change it. Okay, so exterior style pack. Um, they offer it in body color and they also offer it in the high gloss. Right now it's clicked for high gloss. I actually like that. Um, I'm gonna keep that option because with the Grigio Adamas being a lighter matte color, I think we need those punches of dark, contrasting high gloss black. And I think with the rim choice, it's gonna look really good. Um, let's go down here. So right now we have the rear diffuser in body color, matte black or high gloss. So it's already selected in high gloss and that's what I would have done anyway. I'm gonna turn the car around so you guys can have a look at that. Let me go down here to the 360. Um, we'll just kind of move it around. Yeah, it looks very cool. I think we want that contrasting dark black. Um, body color could be cool, but a different look for sure. Let's see. Um, if I go back, we'll click body color just to see the difference. and see what you guys prefer. Um, so let me close that out, go down to the 360, turn it around. Mmm, that looks pretty thick. I think I like that better. Because now we have that contrasting black in the center, but then it brings in that cool Grigio Adamas on the lower part of the diffuser. Okay, I've just changed my own mind. I'm going to keep it with the body color. Hopefully you guys agree. All right, so moving on, let's do the interior. Ooh, there's that bright yellow. And that is not gonna go with our caliper choice. So we're gonna go into color and trim. We're gonna see what we can do here that's gonna work with our ad personam caliper choice. Obviously, we could do just a plain unicolor leather, but that's pretty boring, especially when we've got so many great options with um, this new interior. I'm loving this new interior, it's very cool. All right, let's see. I believe our caliper choice is gonna really limit our interiors. I think the giallo is gonna be too yellow and the green is going to be too green. Let's go into the bicolor and make sure there's nothing else. Yeah gonna be pretty limited, so we may have to change that caliper choice. I know you guys know I'm a fan of Alcantara. I love it. Um, as a woman, I can wear shorts or a mini skirt. It doesn't burn my legs in the summer. But this is a coupe anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's see if this is too much green. Ooh, that's a lot of green. Okay. <laughs> It's cool, but it's very bright, and that makes me know I wanna just go down and do something a little bit simpler, um, but not too simple. I want some green, but not too much. So I'm gonna go with the Evo Trim Sportivo Alcantara Bicolore with black seats. And I'm gonna use Verde Fonds for now. We're gonna see how that looks with the caliper choice and make sure it's a good match. All right, so moving on, we're gonna keep that. So for the stitching right now, we have tone on tone. I don't wanna do that, I wanna do an inverted stitch. So I'm gonna switch that up and you'll see it looks very cool. It gives you the highlighted embroidery on the seat up here. Um, you're gonna see the, the green on the black, also on the dash. And right now the steering wheel is still showing leather, or sorry, yellow on the leather steering wheel, but we're gonna go in and change that. Um, so for now we're good, we're moving on to special trim. So Kuchitora is here. So if you decide to choose this, you have to also do the roof, which could be very good. Um, 
I've seen this a lot in the previous cars. I'm gonna take a look at it. Um, but I feel like the other interior is a little bit fresher, so I'm gonna take the Cusator off for now and go back to what we had. I like this, it's a little bit more um, unique, probably because I've been selling them so long. I've seen a lot of diamond stitching. Uh, let's go to the carbon skin. I recently became a fan of it, so I'm gonna add it. You're gonna see it along the tunnel there, and um, it just gives a nice little punch of sportiness. Okay, we're gonna go to the mats. Um, I'd like to do the bicolor with the piping. I think it's gonna look really nice. Um, we'll go down here. Let's see if I can get you a quick shot of it. Yeah, here you're gonna see it. There you go, you can see the mats now. Uh, they have that nice, thick green piping. Looks really good. Oof, gotta get rid of that steering wheel color. It's awful. Okay, so the steering wheel, right now we have it in smooth leather. I'm gonna change that to Alcantara. I'm not a big fan of the suede leather. It starts to show wear after about a thousand clicks when your hands get oily. So I'm gonna choose the Alcantara. Uh, for the longest, that wasn't an option, so it's pretty cool that they offer that now. Stitching, boy, we have a lot of stitching options. But we're gonna go down and find Verde Fonds. Okay, so you'll see I've chosen Verde Fonds as the stitching. Now we have an option for seats. Let's go back and change the view so you can actually see the seat itself. So right now I have the racing seat chosen, but pretty sure um, the comfort seat is going to be more of what people want. Um, they also have this very cool sport seat. I'll show you that. That's pretty awesome. I think uh, just because it's unique, I'm gonna choose that. Looks like I'm getting into a fighter jet. And we're gonna go with the embroidered shield. Why not? So the only thing bad about the sport seat is you're going to lose your ability to have lumbar support, the fully electric options, and the heat. You will not have those. But it looks so cool in this spec, I'm gonna do it. We can always change it later before we finally submit. Gonna have a look here and see if they have Verde seat belts, which would be very cool. And they do. I'm gonna choose that. And you'll see it just peeking through there. It looks great. And I'm gonna move on to the details. Okay, so carbon is so debatable. It really adds a lot of money to the order and the spec. Obviously, if money is no object, then yeah, we wanna add as much carbon as possible. They have a small composite pack. They have the door sills and they have the big. So let's just have a look at the big. I'm going to change the uh, viewing here so we can see it a little better from the dash. And this is the forged carbon. So when you do this, you get that mix of the old weave, which is in the carbon skin, and also the seat. Uh, the sport seat has it. So um, the sport seat will match the carbon skin, but not the forged. Um, I think it's pretty edgy looking with this package. Um, this is certainly not something you need, but it's cool if you want to spend the money. All right, we're going into additional details now. Um, right now we have the roof lining and A-pillars in Alcantara. I'm gonna keep it that way. And equipment, we're definitely going to add the upgraded sound system. Okay, moving on to options. All right, so I'm gonna add ambient light. Again, is this a necessity? No, but is it fun and cool to have? Absolutely. So driver pack, the package is thought to increase the functional contents of the Hurricane Evo rear wheel drive. The contents include carbon ceramic brakes and magneto suspension. So you guys remember back when we were doing 580 specs, they had packages called WTF, it was pretty funny, um, and WTE. And depending on which one you chose, it would either add magneto suspension or not. So it looks like now they just have this driver pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. 
And um, because of that, it's making me change my caliper selection. So I'm going to choose green. Since we've gone with a Verde Fonz interior, this will be a better match. Okay, so obviously it's going to put things together as needed. Um, I decided to go with the Lifestyle and Driver Pack. Um, it did actually offer me the lighter green Ad Personum caliper, but I chose to stick with the traditional Verde um, because it matches the interior better. So we'll see how it looks when I get done with the spec, make sure we like the combo. Um, we're gonna go ahead and add this extended memory. And I'm gonna leave the warranty off because I don't know who's gonna be buying the car and how long they want it. And this is something cool that they're offering now. They started doing it with the Urus originally, but they offer a maintenance package in advance. So if you were the kind of guy that knew you were gonna keep your car for five years, you could go ahead and prepay your maintenance, which is pretty cool. So let's hit next. And this is gonna give us an overview of the car along with the code. So you'll see it here. The matte with the green accents and the black gloss. That interior is very cool, I'm loving that. If you scroll down, it's gonna show you all the options you chose, the equipment. And then it's gonna give you your configuration code. So. Just to clarify, before in the past I've done specs and I've provided, you know, how to do this and you guys will all send me your codes. But if you live in Ontario, you have a legal Ontario driver's license and you're seriously interested about proceeding, then absolutely make an appointment with me. We can price your code out, we can discuss options and place an order. I'm happy to assist you. But like I said, if you're not an Ontario resident, it's better that you contact your local representative at whatever dealership is closest to you. Okay guys, I hope you like my spec. And if you'd like to design your own and send me images of what you create, I'd love to see what you come up with. There's some amazing options available. And like I said, the pricing is incredible for the new Evo rear wheel drive. I'm so glad I could share this with you. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you'd like to know more about the Lamborghini brand, be sure to make an appointment with me at Lamborghini Uptown Toronto in Vaughan. Thanks for watching my video, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that like button. I'll be releasing new videos every week, and I can't wait to have you along for the journey.